Hi, welcome back to Wallflowers. So three days ago we harvested the first bed of potatoes and now today I'm about to start the second bed. Um, this one um, we didn't use shop-bought um, potato seeds. We had a sack that had got slightly damp and the bottom quarter to, to third had actually started shooting. So we just literally planted them in this bed. So start with the pollen. So the first one's not, not a bad size at all. So someone mentioned on the last video um, what I actually do with the tiny potatoes. Now that size, I don't know how clearly you can see it, will go in soups and stews. That's just nice for a biteful. Um, but any smaller than that, um, this afternoon um, we're about to do the next. So we'll refill this bed and we'll refill the other bed. Um, that we did three days ago um, we'll fill them up with the rest of the potatoes see that that size will go back in um, when we do these two beds later on today um, we've got you know enough time to do more potatoes so you know we're doing them on the 1st of July so it'll either be the first day in October or the last day in September that we we come back to harvest them. So we've still got you know a good three months to stand there to, to grow some more. And if you're preserving them and canning them like I am, you'll you know you'll be grateful of that little bounty. Straw for the next lot. You know, there's still plenty of life in that straw, and it'll keep, still keep the potatoes warm on a cold day. So there's no point throwing it away just because you've used it once. been quite chilly this morning but the weather's picked up again and the sun's on our side again today so it was just the right opportunity to come out and do these. I'm just going to take a little seat here to save me back. If they've got black on, they've been affected by the weather. Um, you know, either the frosts or you know, adverse weather. These ones are what your potatoes are actually growing from. Them soft ones, so you don't want them. Now the ones with a bit of green on, you've got the choice. You can either throw them in and let them grow again. Or you can do what we've always done is just chop that bit of green off and save the rest of potato that's decent and used there.
this harvest is going to be better than the one we did a couple of days ago. Mm -hmm. Keep us going. Yeah. Alright, so we got them in the tub. what I do with my cardboard box, as I say, I store them in a cardboard box so I'm ready to use them. Um, yesterday's box, because um, I saw it as a small harvest, um, was actually an old um, crisp box. Mr. Wallflower likes his crisps, he likes a crisp butty um, a sandwich for those that don't know what a butty is. Um, so the empty crisp box I took, laid it up tall side, um, and the top that I cut off to make an open and the square at the top in a rectangle shape, um, I created a divider in the box. So the little one that I indicate and show you that I use for soups and stews, I put to one side, and the larger ones that can be used as salad boiled potatoes or anything else I put to the other side so when we go in the pantry and we leave them in the potato box to take them out we're not scrummaging and rooting for the little ones that obviously fall to the bottom um, we can easily just dip in and pick which ones we need so you know that that's a, a good little tip and it's quite useful so cut the top of the box put it in between make a divider so you've got two half of the boxes um, sort them out size wise uh, it's more convenient when you're going to use them. Another good tip is um, to actually put an apple in, in the potato box. Um, it's meant to help them not sprout. Occasionally it still happens, but it, it does help. It's difficult when we've got this, this warm weather. Um, as I say, that's the reason I said the other day not to, put them, not to store them in um, a plastic box because they will sweat and in that case they'll start eating, so 
you know, you can still cut the roots off and eat the potatoes, but you look at them sometimes and it, it does put you off, but we don't waste ours. We just bring them out here and grow them again if we don't like the look of them. So I'm just going to pause the film in here and finish the bed and I'll show you how many we we got out of it. Okay, so this is the harvest. Um, I had to turn the video off because my back was sore and Mr. Waterflowers had to help me pull them up. But we've done it and this is what we managed to get. Um, I don't think it's too bad for a, what, approximately a quarter to a third of a bag of potatoes that would have otherwise been wasted. I think we've done pretty well so I'll take these into the kitchen, weigh them, I'll let you know how much I've got. In there. Okay so back in the kitchen I've weighed these and we've got six kilos so along with the first bed we've got five kilos, second bed we've got six kilos so Let's see what bed number three brings us. Okay, thanks for joining me today and I'll see you soon. Bye.